They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty. Okay, before I lose my sunlight, I should set this camera up. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, so for those who do not know, I am moving. And so what you saw in that little montage, it's basically me starting phase one of the moving process. In this phase, I am starting to pack. I'm starting to pack. Um, I kind of want to get rid of everything. And I did a video when I said I was getting rid of everything. And for some reason, I still have a lot of stuff. So this time, this time baby, this time, like legit, I want to get rid of everything, like everything. So I grabbed all my clothes, well the clean ones, and um, I'm going to sort through them. <coughs> I'm going to sort through them, I'm going to have a keep pile and a get rid of pile, and... No, I have to go earlier. Like I was saying, I am going to do a keep pal and a get rid of pal. And that's where I'm going to start. Um, this is just the close part of it. All the other stuff is going to come later. But this first week is focusing on packing. And in my next video, I'm already thinking about what I want to do in the future part of the series. But in the future, I'm going to break it down on everything you need to know before moving so just a disclaimer i was going to break this down into like a four-part series but things was popping off left and right so this is just going to be two videos in my moving series yeah my bad y'all this is a lot so i guess i can get not out of focus i guess i can get started Everything out once, huh? Asia, you did not. You're on that video taping me. That's what happens when you interrupt my recording session. They ain't gonna learn. You gotta teach them. Hey, so I'm gonna show you guys everything that has been done. So that's everything that's going. I have a few more boxes in the closet, but that's everything that's going. I have to wash those sheets, but that's basically it. My bed got broken down today, so I don't know where I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna be flooring it probably. Um, here is my mattress. I have a few more um, things to pack, like my everyday um, items, of course, is not gonna be packed until the very last minute. Um, but I am going to pack my kitchen stuff today. So I'm not taking a lot of kitchen stuff. I just have a foreman grill and like some plates and some bowls. But other than that, like I don't have a lot of kitchen stuff. Um, 
also i have to sort through my mail there's a lot of mail that i want to get rid of but there's a lot of mail that i want to keep just because it's bills and yeah i'm also going to be on wash duty um i'm going to be washing everything because the place that i'm going to they have a washing machine and dryer but it's not in the apartment so i need to wash everything while i still can um i hate talking to the camera like this i'm about to sit you guys down and get my food so this that I'm moving meal and got no food in this house because why would I cook? <sighs> so today is one day out from my move. And for those who do not know, I am moving into my own apartment by myself, all alone, Mara Uno. Yeah. I'm going to be by myself, y'all. And the pressure is on. Like, I am excited. I'm very excited. But at the same time, I'm not even going to front. I'm scared, y'all. Like, I have this really bad habit of thinking of the worst possible scenario. Scenarios. Literally, as soon as I hit my like hit my bed and lay my head on my pillow it's like what about this what about that i'm trying to stay out of negative land and just manifest really positive things um because i want this to be a memorable fun experience for me and i'm not necessarily scared to the point where i'm just like <laughs> but it's more so like everything's on me now even though I paid my bills on time with my sister and, you know, we've been living together for six years and I've always, I've never been really late with anything. I don't know why it's like the pressure is on a little bit harder for my own apartment. I think it's because I'm solely going to be depending on myself. I don't have a roommate. I don't have a man. Say no, say no, it's fine. But, um, no, it's just... It's, I'm a little shook. I'm not even going to lie. Just even planning this, like I'm a planner, I'm a coordinator, like I like things to be very, very organized. Trying to get this together, y'all, has been literally giving me stress headaches every single day. But it's all going to be worth it. I'm, a, I'm putting it out there. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be in my own place, y'all. Again, I, all thanks goes to God because literally i feel like i don't know i just didn't think this was going to happen i knew it was going to come sooner or later and i was kind of like like running to that point like bruh i need to be in my own place the point that i'm trying to make right now is i want to show y'all what they don't tell you about moving and that's kind of the point of this whole video you know moving into an apartment is always like oh yeah my new place da, 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 da. But nobody tells you the backup stuff that you need. I have a list. I made this list as soon as I found the apartment, as soon as everything went through. Because I was like, you know what, Asia, you need to be organized. And side note, I feel like this is what should have been taught in high school. Algebra 2, never heard of it, never seen it in my adult life. Let me go ahead and mark everything that I've already done. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is basically just go through the list of what you need. The basic necessitatas okay so first you gotta pack that was my main priority i did not want to do any last minute pack and i was like girl you need to make sure this stuff is ready to go on moving day i oop, i don't want to do any last minute oop, i don't want to do any last minute you know packing so let's get this let's knock this out what I, one thing i will say is don't overly stress about packing give yourself kind of space it out you know i gave myself two hours a day i try to dedicate at least two hours a day to packing and i got it done in like three days so yay me i guess um change your address um one thing that i was kind of shook is that you have to pay for it i keep forgetting i've changed my address plenty of times but i keep forgetting that you gotta pay it's only like a dollar but it's just like really why do i need to pay but you have to change your address make sure you do that before you move you have to find car and rental insurance now this is real adulting here you guys so make sure that you have um that stuff taken care of because some apartments they ask you to have your rental insurance up front and also you should already have car insurance but this is the kicker depending on where you move you might have to pay more for 
your car insurance like I'm moving to a sketchy area so my car insurance kind of went up and I'm still in the process of getting quotes but like what I've seen so far is that it went up so just a little side note also you got to sign your lease um, they make you sign your lease before you move in clearly and I definitely I'm quite sure all apartments make you do this but sign your lease before you try to move in don't try to do it on moving day because it literally for me it for me it took like two hours because I read mad slow and I wanted to read my whole like lease um but they say like make time for like make at least an hour for it but like I said you need to read your whole lease so just you know be mindful of that scheduling your movers you guys movers are on crack out here like these moving companies my sister she moved out too her moving company was garbage so I was like lord please let me find the right one slim they quoted me let me even let me just break it down one company quoted me like four hundred dollars to move a bed a dresser and a few boxes like I don't know if you guys remember seeing it early in the, uh, the early in the video I don't have that much stuff you see what I'm saying like I don't four hundred dollars and then some people was like oh yeah we have a work minimum of five hours sis what are you doing for five hours I just need you to move my bed and my dresser like so long story short I will end up reserving a truck and I found some friends who are gonna help me move and that's that but you guys just be mindful movers are hella expensive because they're on crack I'm gonna just say that okay I'm just put that out there um another adulting tip make sure you ch call your banks and change all your cards to your new zip code I know that seems like a you know stupid step but your card will decline uh, your card will get declined if you don't have the right address if you're not using the right zip code your car is gonna be like, skirt skirt who is this that's not the address that we have on file so just be mindful of that as well and last but not least for all you Millennials out there make sure that your Wi-Fi is on and popping now me I'm a little tech savvy so I'm hooking up my own internet I'm picking up my box um I, I don't even know what oh snap I gotta figure out when I'm gonna pick up my box I gotta pick up my box but after I pick up my box I'm gonna hook it up myself other people like to have someone come out and do it for them but it's up to you just figure out what you want to do with your internet and your phone because you just don't want to be in an apartment and it doesn't have that stuff okay so that's the things I could think of on top of my head um, the basics of what you need to move moving is expensive okay moving is freaking expensive all right you need to have your estimated cost for moving and this is like legit I'm real talk you need to have at least two thousand dollars no three thousand dollars to save because you need money you're probably going to do your first month's rent you have to cover your moving costs so basically hiring movers having a company service come clean your old apartment because apartments are getting really bougie and they want you to have that junk professionally clean that's another story so your first month's rent moving costs your first month necessities like a lot of my stuff I'm reusing like I'm gonna need other things like I need a trash can I need like small miscellaneous stuff that you're not really thinking about that you use of other people's you you're gonna need that for yourself so you need like five hundred dollars for that mm. long story short you gonna have to have some money saved up it's a situation I promise you it's a situation but you can do it you got this you got this you know what I'm saying and to be honest I'm moving on my own so again it's like all of it's on me but if you were moving in with roommates y'all could kind of like collab on some of this stuff but it just long story short moving is a lot living on your own is a lot excited for it nervous about it scared but we're gonna make it do what it do so this is the end of phase one on my moving journey next video you guys I'm gonna be in my apartment you're gonna see my apartment <laughs> but you wanna see my apartment I'm sorry for this video being all over the place to be honest I've been all over the place because trying to get this stuff done is literally an ordeal like it's so crazy but it's getting done and I'm excited so next video you guys are gonna see my apartment that's pretty bomb so thank you guys for watching if you're watching please like comment and subscribe and if you guys have any moving tips that I didn't share in this video please drop them down in the comment section below because let's get this 
let's get through this thing together let's let's do this together i don't want people to be in the dark about moving i know if moving with my sister and things like that she taught me a lot of things about moving and what i need to do and so i've kind of had the idea i wasn't completely lost but some things just pop up and you'd be like what what is this what what's going on so y'all moving is hard but it's gonna be worth it and i'm excited so again thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you on the next video